Hey everyone, this is Tisk Junkie, and today I'm here to talk about Mindhunter Season 1. I'm not exactly sure if it's an Emmy edition, but it is a FYC for your consideration screener released in 2018. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to check this out, so let's just go ahead and have a closer look. So, like I mentioned, I'm pretty sure this is a Emmy edition, meaning a release which is sent out to the judges of the Emmy Awards. It's not something that you can purchase in stores, and we'll just go ahead and bring this up. It's got this lovely little folder-like design. Going close, you can get some of the details. Got Federal Bureau of Investigation, Mindhunter. I don't think this is actually handwritten, pretty sure it's printed, uh, but it looks really good. Got a nice little insignia there. And then you got For Your Consideration, Outstanding Drama Series. And you got some quotes from Entertainment Weekly, Gold Derby, Time. And then you got Mindhunter Season 1. And it is actually a little sticker on there. There's nothing on the spine here, which I find a little bit disappointing. I mean, I would have liked some kind of printing there so you can stick it in the shelf and you can still see what it is. But uh, even so a very very nicely designed edition. Nothing on the back, you got this buckle or, or metal clasp whatever going through the whole thing and you will notice that we do have some damages here. I actually purchased this exterior box which was sealed so this had even never been opened by the member or whoever received it. Even so just from shipping and rattling around you will probably experience some of these damages which is a shame. I guess that could have been done better. Then you just got Netflix logo down here. That's essentially it for the outside. So opening this up, here you can see the metal clasp thing, which goes all the way through. Then we got a full folder in here with a bunch of these papers and uh, it'll be a bit difficult to go through this, but I'll try to do my best. So just going in for a close up. See, so get some more insignias there. Here it actually says ATAS members. If I do find out some more info about this, I'll just add it in the video description, just so there's no confusion. It's just a close-up of the text, in case you want to read it. Then you got a nice little J. Edgar Hoover building at the bottom there. Overall, I gotta say, I think this is a incredible design because it is ridiculously detailed. And I'll do my best to show you all the details here. They really went through a lot of trouble trying to really make this look like an authentic FBI folder, which I definitely think that they managed to do. Here's the third page. You can see you got some dirt on the pages, so it's not just a question of printing out a yellow page, it's actually really detailed and they did add like smudges and stuff, so it actually looks really authentic, even though this is obviously a very small folder, sort of downsized folder. Here you got some nice little fingerprints. Moving on to the next page, just go in for like a close look on most of these because I'm guessing reading this will be what's essentially interesting. But I mean overall, I mean they really did a lot of work on this, clearly. And uh, just overall I think it's a very, very great idea for a presentation. I would definitely like to see something like this replicated for like the official uh, Blu-ray or DVD release that you you know releasing it to the public. I mean they can definitely improve on just the overall clasp thing because you will get a lot of damages so that's definitely something that can be improved. I don't know if I took two pages now. Sometimes it's hard to tell. And this is some of my favorite stuff for your consideration and then you've got outstanding drama series but what's uh, amazing about this you look closely, these are actually little tiny photos. See, these are actually loose. They are actually stapled with an actual staple, which is really uncommon that you would actually create something so detailed with actual little sort of like Polaroid-like images. So that is just awesome. Here's the next one. Some close-up of that. Sorry if it's a bit dark, but some of these photos are actually quite dark. A nice little received stamp, also adding to the authenticity. And uh, not mentioning too much about this because it's essentially 
you know, there's no point of me just reading what it says. Yeah, I mean, I've already said it a couple times, you can just... It's just amazing in terms of the... Just the attention to detail. Absolutely ridiculous. Now we come to the sort of two last pages, if you want to say. And here we actually have the DVDs. So you've essentially got four discs. Here's the first sort of interior folder. It's sort of hard to get a lighting on there. So yeah. Mind Hunter, Field Office, Criminal Investigation and Administrative Files. Got disc one, episode one and two, disc two, episodes two and three. Then there's the next one, which is sort of like the same style, but it's blue. And you can also see that we have these little slits on the sides. So here we essentially have two discs. I think I'm actually gonna set this down because it's gonna be hard to do this in mid-air, so to speak. So let's see if this works better. Sorry if it's a bit hard to do. So we got the first disc, absolutely awesome design I think. You can see that they have replicated the classic reel-to-reel -reel player, like these reels that you would have on the old reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. And so here is season one, disc one, episode one and two. Put this on the side for now, just to save time. There we go. Season one, disc two. Disc three. Now these aren't actually real stickers obviously because that would definitely create some issues with the playback I'm sure. But they are very nicely designed I gotta say. Here we got the last one. Disc number 4 with episodes 8, 9 and 10. So yeah this is the full first season of Mindhunter. Absolutely gorgeous design. I don't think there's a lot on the back. You can see the back of those holders and nothing on the back there either and then the cardboard is just all blank. So now I'm just putting all the discs back, which you obviously don't need to see. So that was Mindhunter Season 1 Screener DVD set. I just picked this up on eBay, I'm not affiliated with the M editions or anything, you know, I just really like these kind of collectibles. But anyway, hope you really liked this and as usual, I hope to see you all next time.